On Wednesday, the Dow surged 400 points as positive Gilead news lifted hopes for coronavirus treatment. Oil jumped more than 20% on the hopes that the economy will reopen sooner than expected. But we found out that the U.S. GDP shrank 4.8% in the first quarter with the biggest contraction since the financial crisis. Welcome to the Tickmail Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Investiva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmail YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Thursday, we have a very busy economic calendar, including the German jobs report, Eurozone GDP, and the U.S. core personal consumption price index. Today, I'm looking at the Euro-Dollar pair, as it's just testing above the Ichimoku cloud on the 4-hour chart. The last time this happened, it was a fake bullish signal, and the pair quickly turned back down at the key resistance level of 1.098. This time around, depending on the economic data on Thursday, the pair could find resistance at 1.0902 or continue up to the previous resistance levels to create yet another lower high. Do you think this time around the bulls will be strong enough to break the recent pattern? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.